Namaste, Dr. K.M. Kereddy. One important and common issue let us discuss today, that is about ECG. We all know ECG is an important tool of investigations that is being used in cardiology. So wherever you go, you will see the ECG it has become already a fundamental and a minimum test required for a cardiologist to examine any patient. There is no dispute in this, 100% it is true and many of us and many of the people also believe that ECG is minimum required for any cardiology consultation. But this is okay, but the important thing attached to this concept is many people believe that ECG is the mirror image of our cardiac status, our heart status. Is this true? This is the crux of the, uh, the discussion today. Hundred percent ECG is an important one. ECG is the minimum test. Agree. But will it show everything about the heart status? in all the scenarios is the question. I'll tell you a simple thing for that matter. No test, no test will show about every disease. The same status or the same truth and holds good even for the ECG. ECG is a very, very common test. Cardiologist will write, suggest left and right. That is okay, understand. Many of the common people if they have some chest pain, they just go to straight away to the diagnostic center. They undergo the ECG and they take the report. If the report is reported as normal, they think that everything is fine. This is where the problem lies. Normal ECG may say that it is normal, but the ECG is normal. It doesn't mean that everything is normal. I mean to say, there may be problems, but ECG may not be pick up. So ECG may not pick up all the problems in the heart. ECG to be interpreted with the background of history, complaints, the background, risk factors of an individual. If it is not interpreted in that way, it may not give a complete picture. Many a times it may mislead us. So, the meaning of the statement is ECG definitely useful test or normal ECG doesn't mean that everything is fine. So in this context I want to say ECG indicates some problems. If there is a stroke, if there are some other changes in the ECG, ECG will definitely tell or indicate that there are some changes. But here the point I want to drive is just because ECG is normal, even though we have some problems in the chest, we should never ignore that. That is the point I want to drive. Normal ECG doesn't mean all the time your heart is normal. This is the point all of us should remember and before we take a decision of whether to have a consultation or not to have a consultation. We should never go with an ECG which is being reported as a normal. There may be normal ECG, there may be severe problem inside. It is possible because an angina all the time need not be diagnosed by an ECG. ECG will be 100% normal but it cannot exclude. So, the important point I want to tell very, very clearly is many of you go with a complaint to the diagnostic center on your own. Many a times it happens and the ECG is taken. The ECG will be reported as normal and you feel happy that ECG is normal and there is no problem. And some of you may land up next day with a problem of heart stroke or some other issue. 
Why is it happening? It is happening because the first ECG may be normal, the subsequent ECGs may not be normal because you have taken only one ECG and uh, diagnosed yourself that normal. So therefore you have missed the unfortunate event that is likely to happen in anybody's life. So therefore ECG, for that matter any test, should be interpreted with the clinical knowledge, with the clinical interpretation only. Suppose if you have a problem, see the doctor rather than seeing the ECG center. It is a very clear cut understanding here we need to have. If we go to ECG center, ECG only will be reported. If you see the doctor in the same center or some other place, probably the doctor will have a clinical, your complaint, clinical knowledge and he will take an ECG and both will be compared and there will be a comprehensive idea what exactly is your problem. If this problem needs a further investigation or only it is something else not related with the heart or something is a minor issue. So these are the things that are very very important whenever, whenever we have a discomfort please have the consultation rather than going for a ECG and the ECG after getting reported as normal and feeling happy that okay fine we are all done this problem is nothing to do with the heart dear friends I am telling you this is not to create a panic situation but just to make you understand that ECG sometimes may mislead us therefore have a consultation how the test done then let them take a call, a clinical knowledge by a doctor, then we are reasonably safe at that level. So I request you, please understand the limitation of the test, therefore you will take precautions if you are having this idea and you will have a better uh, health and a better uh, the future. Therefore I once again request you, remember this point all the time, follow this for a better future. Thank you. If you like this video, please like it, share it, spread this news among your friends and families. This is a very important message I want to drive upon all of you. ECG chuskoni chala mandi ECG normal undi kanaka haiga manchiga unnadi ani andro anukuntu ontaru vaala heart gurinchi. ఇది ఎంతవరకు నిజం ఇది నిజంగానే ఉందా ఇలా అవుతుందా అంటే హార్ట్లో ఉన్న జబ్బులు అన్నిసార్లు మనకి ఈసీజీలో రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అవుతాయా అనే విషయం గమనిస్తే అన్నిసార్లు రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అవ్వవు కొన్నిసార్లు రిఫ్లెక్ట్ అవుతాయి కొన్నిసార్లు మిస్ అవుతాయి అంటే ఈసీజీ మే నాట్ పికప్ అదే కాకుండా మొదటి ఈసీజీ రెండో ఈసీజీ మూడో ఈసీజీ కూడా కొన్నిసార్లు తీస్తూ ఉంటాం ఎందుకంటే ఆ ప్రత్యేకమైన పరిస్థితుల్లో ఆ కంప్లైంట్ నేచర్ను బట్టి సీరియల్ ఈసీజ్ తీయవలసి ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి మనకై మనము చెస్ట్లో డిస్కంఫర్ట్ రాగానే లేదా చెస్ట్లో పెయిన్ రాగానే ఎక్కడికో ఈసీజీ సెంటర్కి వెళ్ళి ఈసీజీ తీసేసుకొని ఈసీజీ నార్మల్ వచ్చేసినంత మాత్రాన అమ్మయ్యా ఈసీజీ నార్మల్ ఉంది నాకు హార్ట్లో ప్రాబ్లం లేదు అని అనుకోవడం అన్నిసార్లు నిజం కాకపోవచ్చు ఈ విషయాన్ని చాలా జాగ్రత్తగా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి నమస్తే